Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. She is saying the Muslims were petrified, terrified of what is going to happen. And we began making dua to Allah. Nad'u'llah Azza wa Jal. We began making dua to Allah and asking Allah's Nasr, Nastansirullah, asking Allah's Nasr for the army of Najashi against the army of his nephew. Now pause here before I move on. At this point in time, nobody knows Najashi is a secret Muslim. In fact, none of the Sahaba knew this. Only Jibreel came to the Prophet when Najashi died. And Jibreel said, your brother Najashi has passed away, leave Salat al-Janazah for him. Up until that point in time, Najashi's Islam was totally secret. Nobody knew. From all apparent purposes, Najashi is a kafir. And his nephew is a kafir. Salama says, we were making dua to Allah that we want Najashi to win. And we're asking Allah's Nasr to come to the army of Najashi against the army of his nephew. And the night of the battle, we spent sleepless, awake. This is how scared they were, which demonstrates their existence was one of the political debates between them. They're so worried. They're spending the night in fear, like who's going to win? Until in their anxiety, they said, who amongst you will volunteer to go look at the battle and tell us who wins? Who's going to win the election? Who's going to win that? And as Zubair ibn al-Awwam, you all know Zubair. Who is Zubair? Ashara Abu Bashara and the cousin of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's the first cousin of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. At this stage, he's around 19 years old. Zubair was the youngest yani, of them and Zubair was mashallah, yani, he was a bodybuilder, powerful man. He was a very uh, athletic person and he is now the youngest. As Zubair ibn Awam said, I will volunteer. They said, how are you going to go? They're on the other side of the river. He said, prepare for me a, uh, a water canister, but don't fill it with water, fill it with air. Just a side point because, you know, we got to keep up with YouTube's terms and conditions and react. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this is a side point. To be honest, Riccardi, really his 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 niche should just be Sierra and history and these type of things. He's he's really good at, at explaining and unraveling uh, the the Islamic history in the English language, and all of his series are are very interesting and informative. But I just want to say that real quick before we continue. Let's continue, y'all. So he took a water canister. You know, he took a a, a, a leather you know pouch, and he used it as a floating device to swim across the river. The river that was a tributary of the Nile. It was a very fast flowing river, dangerous river. Zubayr ibn al-Awam used this type of, you know, type of scuba equipment, maybe I can say. And maybe if you don't mind me saying that. A scuba equipment type to use it to go underwater, under top of the water. And use that to then monitor the war from the, the, the river Nile. He's in the water and he's seeing what's happening. And he stays there until Najashi wins. And he then comes back rushing. In the middle of the night, he comes rushing and they say that he took off his upper izar, waving it to the camp of the Muslims. That Alhamdulillah Najashi has won, like as they see him from afar. This is the sign. He is so happy, he is quite literally jumping for joy, celebrating with his top garment, uh, with his ridai, with his izar. Top garment, he's celebrating that Najashi has won. And Uqtalama said, we were the happiest we were when we heard the win of Najashi over his nephew. Now, of the most common sense aspects we can derive, and I only say these because... And for, uh, like a voice very far away in the wind on this point, but Islamophobia is, is a made up thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> all respect to all the scholars who talk about Islamophobia and whatnot, but it's, it's not a real thing, okay? It's just not. Okay, from the time that Islam was given to the Prophet Sallallahu you had people hating on Islam and trying to destroy Islam. And just because you make a term Islamophobia doesn't make it a real thing. As a matter of fact, the term, in my humble opinion, the term Islamophobia does way more harm to the Muslims than it does help. Because what you are now doing is you're essentially turning Muslims into an ethnic group or some type, or some type of uh, a group for political uh, purposes, which you should not do that. Just keep Islam as the religion of truth, the religion of, of uh, you know, of haq, you know? You're going to go through fitna as a Muslim, especially the more you practice, more fitna you go through. But that's just a side point. That's neither here nor there with our per particular uh, topic. I just got to say, you know, uh, Islam, and for me, Islamophobia is not a thing. It doesn't exist, right? It's just something that Muslims say in order to achieve some sort of, you know, like uh, achieve some sort of uh, sympathy or or empathy from non-Muslims. I'm just saying that's <laughs> well, anyways, let's keep watching. You all want the party that will protect your freedoms to win. And so much so the Sahaba are bringing in dua to Allah with one kafir party against the other kafir party. 
If dua to Allah is allowed between kuffar parties, then wallahi min babi awla a priori a million times easier. If you can make dua to Allah as a ritual between two parties, without a doubt, you can do much less than this, which is campaigning, which is voting, which is helping in the dunya we sense, right? Again, I say this because we still have the sentiment amongst us that voting is haram, voting is shirk, voting is kufr. SubhanAllah, at this point, Najashi was a public kafir, and in his court, kufr practices took place. We know this from the seerah. When uh, Amr ibn al-As and the others of Quraysh entered Najashi's palace, the first thing they did, they followed the custom of the time. And that is, they did sajda to Najashi. They did sajda to Najashi. And when Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and the Muslims entered, they were debating, should we do sajda, should we do not do sajda? And Ja'far ibn Abi Talib said, no, wallahi, I will not do sajda to other than Allah. And so he did not do such that. That's remember the story from you know the conversation. My point being, Najashi's court is ruling by other than the law of Allah. Najashi has practices that are kufr. Najashi's court is a pagan or a kufri court. The Sahaba didn't say, if we make dua for Allah, this is an endorsement of all of the kufr of Najashi. And yet we have in our midst those who say, if we vote, it is an endorsement of all the kufr of that party. No, it doesn't work that way. This is a figment of your imagination. No rational person, no aqil, no person who understands politics, no person who actually votes, actually believes that when I vote for one candidate, this is an endorsement of everything about that candidate. Just like this right here is a, an important point for even black folks to understand, right? Especially when you're playing within a democratic uh, environment. And this is why we say over here that we should be Practice it. If you're going to practice democracy, you should practice it on your local level within your community, which is going to be much more effective when you do it like that. Quid pro quo and galvanizing your own community, putting your own people in power on a local level, right? This is much more important. And we're going to get to that in a minute anyways, because what he said is, is a very important point, right? But anyways, I digress. Let's keep watching, y'all. The Sahaba are saying we're making dua to Allah. One of these critics will say this means that they're making dua that shirk is done in the court of Najashi when they do sajda to him. No. No, this is a figment of the imagination of small groups of people that Alhamdulillah, they're getting less and less. We need to push back that there is no kufr in voting. There is no shirk in voting. There is nothing wrong with wanting a party that will preserve your rights. And if you can make dua to Allah, and if you can be so scared, you want Allah's Nasr to come. And if you can send Zubayr ibn al-Awwam to monitor the elections or the, or, the, or, the, or the civil war, this clearly shows you have vested interests. And there's nothing wrong with being a part of making sure you're vested. This is another important point that he made that everybody should understand understand especially muslims that voting is not kufr okay <laughs> voting in itself is not kufr even voting is something that the sahaba they practice right voting in itself is not kufr right the system of democracy that system in itself that is what's kufr and if you prefer that system over what allah has revealed in in the quran and the sunnah then this is something that that is you know that's a different story altogether okay and of course there are many there's so many uh, lectures from actual ulama you know i would say, i would highly suggest some of you uh listen to the lecture of shaykh uthaymin rahimallah and what he said about voting and whatnot okay and if it brings about a uh, good if there's fa'idah for the muslims they, they should partake in it right so we we do not disagree here okay this is some this is something that you know, we do not disagree here. Okay, but anyways, I digress. Let's keep watching, y'all. The interest will uh, be uh, will be uh, manifested. Now, of course, that is a nice, easy, hypothetical situation when we have a Najashi. Who is our Najashi in the current climate? Who is our Najashi in the current climate? This is another great point. Let's keep watching, y'all. <laughs> Allahul Mustan. This is where we get the reality. Okay. So once I've talked hypothetically that it is permissible to be a part of the system, it's okay to want to be a part of it and to influence and to make du'a. This is human nature, as I said. I, you you are disconnected from reality if you have any view other than this. We want our freedoms preserved and it is our constitutional right and we have the right to lobby and petition like Ja'far lobbied directly with al Najashi himself and like the Sahaba are wanting one group to win over the other. Now obviously there is no democracy in Abyssinia. They cannot go vote. But my point is if they are invoking Allah for one side they are doing more than voting. This is what I'm saying. If they're making dua to Allah this is a ritual and they're allowing a ritual to make one side above the other. This is far bigger than casting a vote and in your heart you know that I don't agree with everything about this party. Do you understand how I'm using that incident? Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs> 